As the anniversary of young Dolph's murder approaches, the wheels of justice are beginning to turn. Johnson, good morning, sir. Good morning. Smith, good morning, sir. Good morning. In an effort to move things forward, Judge Lee Coffee gave both Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith and their attorneys till January 20th to provide a status update on where things stand. Everybody is aware that the case has been pending for almost a year, uh, and we'd like to get this case tried. Uh, you know, next year at the latest. Prior to today's hearing, Johnson hired a new attorney named Luke Evans. Johnson is also requesting a move from 201 Poplar to the penal form in East Memphis due to safety concerns. As his attorney, want him to be in the most optimal position to aid me in his defense uh, and want him firing on all soldiers. Ultimately, Judge Coffey says that decision will be made by the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. If transferred, Johnson will be held on lockdown for all but half an hour every day. Once you get an answer, let Mr. Evans, Mr. Hagerman know, and uh, we'll address it on the next session. Another thing officials say has delayed the case from moving forward is the amount of evidence. Paul Hagerman, who is the chief prosecutor for the Shelby County DA's office, says it's extensive. I'd say thousands, thousands of pages, uh, numerous videos. Uh, audio recordings of uh, statements and things like this. It's hours and hours for attorneys to go through. It's not a uh, it's not a small case. While those findings are not expected to come out in January's hearing, all involved expect progress to be made between now and then. Reporting downtown, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.